Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really bout this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on roll, keep us. Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad? And welcome back to yet again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, today marks one year ownership of my 2021 Camaro SS1LE. Just giving y'all a quick little walk around. And then we'll talk about just, you know, my ownership of this car, how it's been, dealing with maintenance, dealing with just everything of this car, man. Everything that comes with owning this car, we're going to cover today. So jumping straight into it, man, I bought this car a year ago today from a small dealership out in Liberty, Texas called Crossroads Dodge. Um, it was a Dodge dealership. Yes, this is a Camaro. They had no idea what they had, honestly, but that worked out in my favor. I got this car for a very, very, very steal, big steal of a deal. I can't even lie. If you guys are interested in that, man, go check out some of the videos where I cover how much it is and all of that. But yeah, man, I got it for a steal, brought the car back home. And first thing I did was pop the hood and check all the fluids. Of course, the oil was low. I pulled the dipstick and it was dry. I'm talking about dry. I ended up having to add three quarts of oil, which leads me to my next thing. <laughs> the next day, I went ahead, pulled up to the shop and put the car in the air to do an oil change, like I always do. <laughs> Once I got the car in the air, I saw that the exhaust was just, I knew it was aftermarket. Like I knew there was something aftermarket to it. It couldn't have been fully stocked because the car was stupid loud for having mpp it was it was it was really loud so that being said when the car was in the air i saw that the car had cooks cats uh h pipe and x pipe all leading into the stock mpp now that being said after i fixed that um and some minor things that the car had like the hoods alignment and stuff like that the car was great, you know, drove it around, you know, that's when we started modifying the car, went ahead and that brings me to my next thing. Matter of fact, I'll pop the hood for you. All right, y'all, so this is what everybody loves to hear about anyway. And this is honestly probably my favorite part of the car too. So, <laughs> so we have the LT2 intake manifold, non-porter, the stock throttle body, non-ported, Rotofab coder intake. We have a E85 flex fuel kit. And we also have the speed engineering inch and seven eighths long tube headers. Now, when we went with the headers and did the header install, the cats, we could not match up. So there was a leak. So I ended up deleting the cats and having basically a cat delete put in on the car that cleaned up all the leaks. There was no more leaks afterwards and the car sounded phenomenal. Now, a couple months after <laughs> I went ahead and did the bolt-on work on the car. The drive shaft ended up going out. So yeah, man, just going back into it, man. Other than that, I really haven't had any mechanical issues, any failures other than the radio, but like serious things that would cause an issue throughout the ownership of this car. Nah, man, it's been, it's been pretty great. I'll be honest with you. The maintenance has not been too bad. I, because I work at the shop now, I ain't gonna lie, oil changes, this car does take 10 quarts of oil and it's a full synthetic oil you have to put in the car. So just be ready to spend a pretty little penny on just the fluids alone for your oil change. Full rundown real quick, we have the Drake dive planes up front. We have the ZL1 add-ons tow hook slash front license plate bracket. We have the 1LE badges I got from Amazon. We have the white led side markers that everybody loves to ask me where i got them from i got them from amazon okay i got them from amazon then we have the zl1 add-ons 
rock guards up front and in the rear. We have the EOS ZL1 style carbon fiber side skirts that I am not gonna lie, those need to be touched up already. The clear coat is kind of fading on them. Then we have the, I believe these are ZL1 add-on rear diffuser spreads as well. We also have the AWE track axle back exhaust. Shout out to AWE, we are sponsored by them, goaded. Um, going to the rear, we also have the 1LE badging from Amazon. Custom license plate bracket that I made from Amazon. It says the YouTube handle on there. And we have the custom JI 1LE plate everybody loves. <laughs> so yeah, man. And then we have the carbon fiber gas door. We also have the carbon fiber shark antenna. Um, but that's pretty much it for the exterior. The interior, we have carbon fiber everywhere, as you guys can see. <laughs> it's pretty like self explanatory I, I really don't have to tell y'all, but y'all see. All of the parts that you see on the car have been sourced either through Wild Hammer Motorsports, carbon fiber has been coming from Next Gen Speed, or Camaro Carbon. That's pretty much it for what we did in 2022. I'm super stoked to see what we're gonna do in 2023. Also, we have the JLT oil catch can. You definitely need one of those when you have one of these cars. Not gonna lie, it's phenomenal. You can get the, there's a whole bunch of options you can go with, but that's the one that I went with. It works great for my setup. Yeah, man, this is, this is it right here. The 2021 Camaro SS1LE. It's been one year insane to think about it i'm super stoked and blessed to be here oh i can't forget the ji galaxy man we also got the ji galaxy in there i almost forgot about it it's crazy <laughs> but i'm super blessed and stoked to be here i'm super blessed to have this car i'm happy to you know be able to say that i drive this car and was able to do everything that i did to this car in a year span also the first mod for 2023 in this section right here about to be insane i'm telling y'all so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on those post notifications drop a comment in the comment section down below yeah man we're going crazy i can't forget carbon fiber steering wheel from wild hammer man jesus but yeah, man, about to go ahead, cut this joint on and get out of here. Let's go wrap it up for this. Yeah. It's a 1LE. Oh, 1LE. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. It's I appreciate you, man. But yeah, man, like I was saying, it's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure I said that already. So I'm going to just go ahead and end y'all off with a nice little startup. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it's that way. You feel me? I can't wait to see where this car is gonna be at the beginning of 2024, man. But let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Let's roll out outro. Peace.